Tom Cruise is serious about his COVID-19 yeah. safety protocols, at least on the set of his movie. Uh, in audio released by the UK's The Sun, the actor was recorded yelling at the crew on the set of Mission Impossible 7 in London for not adhering to safety measures put in place on the production amid the pandemic. I don't ever want to see it again. Ever. And if you don't do it, you're fired. And if I see you do it again, you're gone. And anyone on this crew does it. That's it. And you too. And you too. And you. Don't you ever do it again. That's it. No apologies. You can tell it to the people that are losing their because our industry is shut down. It's not going to put food on their table or pay for their college education. Ooh, you can tell Tom means business right there. He is not joking around. And apparently 50 staff members were the target of the rant from Cruz after he reportedly spotted two crew members standing within two meters of each other. Now ET has reached out to a rep for Cruz and Paramount Pictures for comment. As you can imagine, I mean, this literally has been the rant heard around the world, Malicia, and that leaked audio audio has sparked some mixed reactions. I mean, what are your thoughts on it? Was Tom right in his actions to explode the way that he did? <sighs> okay, I don't think he was right to explode the way he did. I don't necessarily agree with his language, but I think his anger was valid. I know some people say you shouldn't talk to grown adults like that, but at the same time, grown adults should know how to follow rules. There's mm. a lot at stake here, a lot at stake. I mean, we have literal lives at stake, the livelihood of people, which he talked about people not being able to pay for their homes or their college education. And then there's a ton of money at stake, a ton of money out of his pocket. He is the executive producer on this film. And based off of reports that I've read, this high level of a film can rack up millions of dollars in expense in a week of not filming. So this film has already had to shut down before due to crew members testing positive. And it's sad to say that sometimes you have to react this way for people to listen because they don't right. really hear you when you're kind about it. But they have right. to take you serious. They take you more serious when you react this way, which isn't, you know, the best thing. But sometimes that's just the truth. He also right. mentioned that this production is a golden golden standard for Hollywood right now, and I believe that is very true. I mean, there are a lot of productions that have been dealing with the fact that insurance companies aren't willing to cover their film because of the likelihood of the film being shut down due to COVID. So this Absolutely. film continuing their production, it's somewhat looked at like a beacon of hope for other films that want to get back into production. So if they mess up, then the whole industry kind of can feel that effect. So I get why he kind of blew up like that. There's a ton of pressure on his shoulders, but mm -hmm. he could have controlled his anger just a bit. Well, yeah, that's the thing, right? It's like, uh, obviously, there is a lot of risk involved, period, right now with production starting back up and uh, resuming amid this pandemic, right? That, like, keeps going like this, right? And right. the fact that people on that production and on that set did test positive or he's or we've learned that test positive for COVID-19 like is reason enough for people to take this seriously I just wonder if there was maybe a different approach and I only because Tom knows the position of power he's in so is that a kind of an abuse of power you know what I mean like I feel like couldn't he have um sent a, just as clear and loud of a message if he just quietly let those two people go you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, and we don't know the the exact details. Like we said, we reached out to the studio and um, also reps for Tom Cruise. Uh, but, you know, the Sun reported that it was two people sitting behind a computer too close to each other. Like, did it warrant mm -hmm. that kind of a, a, of an explosion? No pun intended, right? On the set of MI7? I don't know. But one yeah. thing is certain, Tom is passionate and he loves making movies. So I'm hoping at yeah. the end of the day, it's coming from that, from that place where he is... Um, you know, he almost relishes in this, in the idea that this production is his and he's responsible for all these people and their safety and also responsible for giving them an income. You know what I mean? So right. I can kind of, I, I, I could see both sides. 
And he mentioned at the end of the audio, it's like a three minute audio tape. So make sure you listen to all of it to get the context. He did mention that he cares a lot about them and he wants yeah. to trust them on this production. So it wasn't all, you know, curse words and just hammering at them. But then at the same time, I'm, I'm not sure about you, Denny, but I've worked on film production sets before. It's nothing new for your boss to go off. You know, mm. sometimes that's the way Hollywood works at times is not the best, but I'm sure they weren't shocked by him going off. I think it was just more so of exactly what he was saying. It's not unusual for but, your boss to go off. Yeah, but can you imagine if your boss was Tom Cruise? I would be shaking in my boots. I would boots. be shaking in Right? I mean, I think the message was heard loud and clear, and at least he's taking yeah. it uh, seriously. But Mission Impossible 7 is scheduled to be, re be released in November 2021.